what you clucking up here to me for, girlfriend? <laughs> Aw, Cora. You want me to pick you up? Bash, leave the poor girl alone. I know, darling. You're such a good boy. I'm, I'm coming to y'all today to talk about one of my pet peeves. It got activated. Let's put it that way. It got activated this morning. One of these beautiful sweet birds right here were out free ranging. Ray Sebastian, my good boy, my precious thing. Cora, you're missing your whole tail, girlfriend. You must have molted your whole tail out. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm gonna go down here and I'll show y'all something. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a couple of pictures up, and that will illustrate. Now, do you see where I'm going? Okay, the barn pen is right here. My husband had to get a lawnmower part. He had, had couldn't cut this at all. He had a lawnmower through a, a rod or something. He had to go get a a bar that holds the the what do you call it the deck up. <laughs> big old lawnmower, 22 horsepower, uh, automatic. I got the big old. I brought the big guns, and it's still too city fied wussy to cut the pasture without throwing a rod or something. Um, okay, you see where we're going here. This is. This is the pasture gate, you know, where I've seen a bear a couple times on the, on the game camera. My game camera is on this tree here. You can see the strap right there. And <laughs> right here. My husband was out this morning. He went out first, and I didn't realize he'd gone out. And he had been at the barn for a while, and I was about to go out, and I heard some dogs barking. And something about it said, these are not the usual dogs barking. It sounds really close by. Well, when I came out, I said, did you hear the dogs barking? I didn't hear any dogs barking. Um, well, a while later, I downloaded the game camera card. I looked at the screen. And right here, running along the fence right here, were three dogs. Two black curly-tailed dogs that have been here repeatedly and a grace looking pit bull or pit bull cross running with them and the time stamp was 9 30 my brahmas were out free ranging out here this is where the barn is this is where the house is this is my garden there's the other coops and this is the pasture fence now we had plans to fence this pasture and I still have it in my head that we're going to fence this pasture. That will give us another barrier. Because my chickens won't be in the pasture. They will only be here. But they love to go to this pasture fence right here. They love to dig along this fence and eat along the fence. Hector's here all the time. Well, the dogs were caught on camera. Two hours later, my little Thea, Hector's girl, was caught right there. Now, what would have happened? Had my girl been here, Hector and the girls, or, or Bash and his girls, they come back here sometimes, and those dogs had showed up and the chickens were right here near the fence, then what would have happened? You know what would have happened. They would have tried their best to get over the fence and get to my chickens. All they had to do is climb this fence. Or my rooster. Well, my rooster's bless his heart. He might have pulled what roosters usually do, and he might have tried to start flogging the fence to uh, direct the the dogs you know, fight the dogs at the fence and because the the openings in this livestock fencing are so wide you know four inches or so four or five inches wide they would have been able to grab him and try to pull him through the fence so i would have lost at least a rooster if not girls three dogs three dogs could have slaughtered my entire brahma flock with ease with ease and they could have easily gotten into that pen, into the barn. Good bash running. Oh, it's nice to see him run. They could have gotten into the pen because the pen gates were open because the birds were out here running free where all the green stuff's growing. So here we are once again with the same roaming dogs. Do, have y'all seen that Soresto commercial? 
you know, it goes, Seresto, 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 you know that stupid song. And the boxer, Jake, is comes to the door, and his owner opens the door, she goes, oh, no, Jake. And he's bringing, first he's got a toilet plunger, and then he's got something else, and flowers, and then he's got some lady's bikini top. And he's they're talking about, you know, whatever your dog brings home. Meaning the dog has been roaming the neighborhood, right? The dog's roaming the neighborhood. So, uh, you know, your dog, Jake, roams the neighborhood, and he might be trying to bring back a chicken to you. And the problem is, Mr. Jake roams the neighborhood, and he probably won't come home. If I catch his furry behind out here with my birds, Mr. Jake may be a pile of fur in my pasture. Because I am so tired of this. I don't know who these dogs belong to. I see them across the road we live off of, uh, just hanging around together. I don't know whose dogs they are. I don't know whose dogs anybody is. I mean, I don't know who any of these dogs belong to. I some These particular dogs, I've seen several times. If they belong to the man who's in the driveway they stand at, I don't want to have any deals with that man. That man is insane. He's nuts. So I won't deal with the man. We'll just drop the dogs. I love dogs. I grew up, my family raised AKC Dobermans. You can watch, watch Bashers. Look at him stand tall. I'm so glad he feels better. Uh, my family raised AKC Dobermans. I've said this before. Um, my husband and I have adopted what I call pound puppies. We've adopted three pound puppies over the course of our marriage, 43 year marriage. They've, um, all lived pretty long lives. They were always pinned. They were never allowed to roam. They never escaped. I don't know what I'm looking at here. I don't know what this thing's pointing at. I'm talking and not holding it. Um, I have zero tolerance, especially now that I have these chickens. And, you know, I get so tired of people saying, you kill a dog over a $2 chicken. I, I, how, I can't even count the number of times I've heard somebody say stuff like that. Yeah, because I don't have $2 chickens. I have birds that have lived to be 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 years old. That's longer than some dogs I've had. And they don't deserve to be torn apart by a predator when they're on their own property. And the dog is trespassing. So... The saying goes, and I've said it over and over, it used to be part of my signature line, a dog on its owner's property is a pet. A dog on someone else's property is a predator. On this property, it's definitely a predator. So, I, I don't even know what to say anymore about this. It's just so ridiculous. And the logic, to me, it's just logical. And we have laws... They back me up. The whole state of Georgia has laws that say I can, I can shoot an animal to prevent injury or harm to livestock. Prevent. That means I don't have to wait till the dog even touches one. I can, I can bring them down. Love dogs though I do. I don't mind it. Yeah, I do. I do, it does make me angry that the dog owner would put me in the position to have to shoot their dog. Or, or as my friend uh, Lady Hawk would say, revoke the dog's birth certificate. Um, she's done it a few times. She's had to. She's lost birds to dogs from the same owner. Keep getting a dog. She kills one dog that shows up on her property, threatening her, and uh, has to shoot it. Rottweiler. I don't take chances with big dogs like that. And, uh, huh, I just, it, I'm just incensed over this dog issue. Uh, you don't get to let your dog just run free just because you live in a rural area. You, I almost guarantee you there's some sort of law protecting other people and, and their livestock against your precious pup because precious pup when precious pup gets together with other precious pups they become dangerous predators they pack up and they start to act like wolves only they're not hunting for food they're just hunting for sport so 
keep your dogs at home. Mr. Jake won't be bringing anything home. He won't be coming home. That's pretty much it. So, anywho, um, I had Jill with her two little Brahma eggs, the little, the broody crazy that went running into the barn, Cora. They're actually her babies. Jill, today's day 20. Uh, one is in the air cell. When she got off the nest, when I took her off the nest to go do her water break, uh, I put the little mag light right against the air cell end of the egg without even picking it out of the nest. I just sat it against the air cell of the egg, and uh, one of the chicks is in the air cell. I haven't had chicks around here forever. <laughs> Seems like it's been a long time since I've had chicks around here. But we're going to have a couple of chicks, I guess. If they both make it out of the egg, things can happen. But these Brahmas are pretty strong. I don't think I've ever had one just caught in the egg. They tend to hatch pretty well. So, uh, I gotta go check on Miss Jill and her little babies and see how she's doing. And, um, be responsible dog owners. Pin your dogs. If the dog keeps getting out, that's making you look like an idiot. Can't you figure out how to make a monkey's uncle out of your dog? Instead of him out of you, keep your dog at home. Pin your dog. Even if somebody doesn't have livestock, there are people who are deathly afraid of dogs. It's not fair for your dog to go to their property and scare them to death. It's not right for you to do that to other people. They deserve enjoyment of their own property. I enjoy, I, I deserve enjoyment of my property. My chickens enjoy, the, they deserve the enjoyment of their own property here. Now, wild predators, they're looking to eat. Most of them are hunting at night. But wild roaming dogs, they're just out here killing for sport. They're not, they're not hunting to eat. <laughs> I'm a predator kitty over there. He's going, <laughs> he's going to try to get past Betsy. He doesn't like these big chickens. He'll take a run at the bantam hens because they scream and they fly. Except for Amy. Amy's, Amy scares him. But uh, <laughs> yeah, there's the, there's one predator they don't care anything about. They don't care about that one, the cat. He's not scary. He's been here as long as they've been alive, that's for sure, and longer. But, uh, you know, keep your dog at home. It's not right for you to foist your dog on somebody else. It's not my responsibility to make sure your doggy gets home. It's your responsibility to keep him there. And that's all I have to say about that today. Look at the picture at the end. You saw, you saw that stump right there. Look at the two pictures at the end. You can see where the three dogs came running past there on the other side in the pasture. And you can see where my Thea was not long after that, right at the same location on this side of the fence. And think about what would have happened, what the dogs would have done had they come running along and my chickens been at the fence. What would have happened? Three dogs, not one dog, but three, packed up together. So, I... I don't give anybody an inch on that subject. I just, I, I don't. No tolerance. No tolerance whatsoever. So, um, love your dog. Keep him where you know where he is. If he's out of your control, he's illegally trespassing on somebody else's property. And he may not come home. So, there you go. It is a beautiful day. It was 45 degrees here last night. It was chilly. Uh, it's going to be 52 here tonight. It Right now, I think it's like 77 degrees. It's beautiful. It's like fall instead of spring. It's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous out here. I want this temperature all year long. Skip summer, skip winter. Let's just have it like this. Yep, there we go. So, I'll talk at you guys later. Um... That just uh, prompted a little rant again. Yeah, I'm ranting. Because I am so sick of these dogs showing up in my pasture. I'm going to have to go ahead and fence that pasture. I know I'm going to have to fence it. What you see, kitty? You going to go get it? Go get it, kitty. Go get it, kitty. He's he not so fat he can't get through that four inch gap right there. <laughs> go get it, Finn. Go get it. 
And see, I've got the cat, too. I worry about him, too. He can probably evade one dog. But if he's got three dogs after him, i will tear my cat apart. You know? He came to me as a roaming cat. He came to me a year and a half old. I didn't get a cat and keep him an indoor cat. This cat, oh, he, he adopted us. He was a stray cat that just showed up. I did my part and I neutered him, but he won't stay inside. He's not an indoor cat. I can't help where he goes. I try to keep him close to home, but if he roams, you know, it's just a risk that I have to take. I can't make him stay in. Trust me. We've tried, but he's obviously never been an only indoor cat. Um, so I, I do worry about him, too. Of course, I can't control where he goes. My chickens are inside this fence. The cat I can't keep inside the fence, but the chickens are inside the fence. Um, and I'm really kind of afraid that one of these days when those dogs come along, my chickens are going to be right next to the fence. Hi, BJ. Well, that's enough of my rambling, and I'm going to talk to you guys later. Another dog rant. <laughs> Another dog rant. But I guess you'll probably hear a few more because people can't seem to learn. They just can't learn. I guess I'll be digging me a big hole or taking a dog carcass and dumping it somewhere pretty soon. Because if they come back, uh... They may not go home wherever home is. I don't know where home is. I have no idea. Or I don't even know if they have a home. Maybe they're just, uh, I don't know, maybe they just roam around and just kind of hang around in this area. Maybe somebody's feeding them. I don't know. So, we'll see you later, guys. Say hi to Betsy. There's Betsy. There's Betsy. See, she knows her name. <laughs> see you later, guys.